Uh, well, shit, I feel like I should have gone first. I don't want to give you some story like, oh, I broke a string, because every guitarist has broke a string on stage, right? Right. And I and so, I mean, I have one of those where I had to just start doing vocals, which was kind of embarrassing, because I've never done that before. But I honestly, I don't think I have many embarrassing moments. Like, my singer slapped me one time in another <laughs> band. That was kind of, that was kind of interesting. I was like, I didn't know how to react. Um, and then, you know, I've forgotten gear before to, and like got on stage and I was like, oh shit, I need this. And like, pant, you know, frantically needing something like a, a guitar head or, you know, a guitar cable, but nothing, you know, like where I've fallen or, you know, like shat myself on stage or something. You know, there's nothing like that that's happened, <laughs> fortunately. I have, there's bands that that has happened to. Yeah, luckily <laughs> enough, that's not been me. <laughs> Dude, you know, and I'm trying to think of when I played, if I had any embarrassing moments on stage. I don't think I ever did. Maybe I, like, would try too hard as a drummer. You know, sometimes drummers, like, they get all into, like, they're super hardcore. I think I did yep. some of that when I first started doing concerts. You know, like, the rest of the band's just standing there, and I'm, like, waving my arms everywhere and doing that kind of thing. But you gotta have That's not embarrassing. That's, <laughs> dude, you gotta put on the show. I know, you know? right? I, but one time, I actually got bit by uh, Ron Recluse, and I didn't know that. And I actually have a spiderweb tattoo on my elbow, and I got bit on my elbow, uh, like, the night before the concert. I didn't know it, so I played the concert. Halfway through the show, I'm like, what's wrong with my arm? Like, my arm started getting real stiff and numb, and it was weird, and it started, like, getting, like, big. So I went to the hospital, or the doctor's, like, the next day. I waited till the next day, because I was, like, 21 and didn't give a shit. The doctor goes, you got bit by a brown recluse. You should not have played the drums last night, because what it did was it spread the poison throughout my bloodstream. Yeah. So your whole body was blown up. <laughs> well, my whole arm was like super blown up, and it was like so gross looking. I would like squeeze like my arm and like pus. Like it was so gross. Ew. Oh. But I, th- I when I was twenty one, I thought it was pretty cool. I was like, check this out. Doctors like don't more stories. Don't do that again. I was like, fine, I won't. <laughs> any <laughs> bands? Any bands that you have played with um, that you want to give some shout outs to? Yeah, for sure. We have uh, you know set for tomorrow. One of our brother bands, obviously seasons. Uh, we have a long history with them. Great guys, great musicians. Yeah, they've been uh, on the Tired podcast. Violence. Uh-huh. We've got Tired Violence, who's been, he's a single artist named Tyler. He's been blowing it up on TikTok and just doing a lot of covers. Nice. And then a band that we played with a lot that we haven't played with recently, obviously due to COVID, with Travelers. They're out of Virginia Beach. Those are really cool guys. Uh, James, do you have anybody that you can think of? I think I've, there's yeah, so many, uh, there's so many other ones that we could definitely name, uh, but. All the good bands, off my head. every good band in Virginia, I, everyone, every single, so many sick bands in Virginia, including you guys. I, 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 yeah, for sure. I've had seasons on the on the podcast. Uh, I mean, what is it with Virginia, man? And like, seriously, I'm about to get you guys off here, uh, off the podcast. But what is it with Virginia? What kind of Kool Aid are you guys drinking over there? Because everyone that's in a band. Sounds good. I haven't heard one shitty band yet. You, you just got a lot of great musicians, like yeah, here, like say. a ton of great musicians. Like I mean, and I, another one I didn't mention was Revenant. They were out of Virginia Beach too. Fantastic. But uh, I mean, there's so many great musicians. Was like Set for Tomorrow, Seasons, Tired Violets, Travelers, Revenant. I mean, they're all top level bands where they're just blowing up online. They're, they they have killer shows. It's just I think everybody's I mean, it's amazing. There. Yeah, because yeah, there's a sure. large amount of talent, I think, you know, everybody's like, oh, shit, Revenant just dropped a new song. Like, oh, man, I want to write a song like that. Like, that is <laughs> sick. Like, so everybody's trying to, like, one-up each other with their music, and, like, you know, we're just pushing each other to keep coming out with better and better content. I think that's really fueling the scene here. Fr- friendly competition, you guys help each other out by doing that as well, especially uh, with the amount of talent. I mean, when you guys – I'm pretty sure once you guys start playing concerts again – you're going to play with a bunch of bands all around. Like, Season, you'll probably play with Seasons, you know, and, and some of those other bands out there. Oh, for yeah. sure. We all work We all work together. I mean, I just shot a couple music videos with Seasons, helped them out since they didn't have a drummer. And, you oh, know, cool. we, pl- we, had a, we had a tour set up with Set for Tomorrow before COVID hit. Uh, we played many shows with Travelers and Revenant. I mean, it's just, I mean, all these bands are really, you know, part of what makes us what we are, too. I think if so. I moved to Virginia, that'd be the only way I'd ever start a band again. Is I'd move to Virginia, <laughs> I'd be like, then I would do it. And there's, there's a lot of great musicians here in Oklahoma, but I, I really don't have time for it. But if I, but if I was, come be, a, a, come be a co-drummer with me. Yeah, yeah. I'll just let's just hey hey James, let's just kick him out of the band. Hey, I'm in a new band, guys. 
Hey, is that <laughs> it's an yeah, announcement podcast. Announcement of the new drummer. <laughs> <laughs> How about the old and with the new? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, I am super excited to see what the future holds for you guys. Very, very great band, great dudes, good musicians. From an awesome state of Virginia, which has a bunch of talent. I want to thank you guys for joining me on this podcast, sharing your music on our platform. I really appreciate it. And I want to thank everyone who listens to this podcast. Thanks for being on the podcast. Any final thoughts from you guys? Oh, thank you for uh, we, having us on here. We really appreciate it. All right, guys. Well, don't go anywhere. Stay right there. And we will talk to everybody later. Bye. This is the loud spot outro by nothing short of tragic. Is this all talk with no action? No. Is this my thoughts with distraction? No. Is this what I bought that's in fashion? Or is this the loud spot with Sebastian? Yes. Does nothing short of tragic have me back again? Yes. Does everything that's good really have to end? Yes. A pin post, half a pin show, so to get more episodes, make an order, this is over.